you mentioned asylum and I was, I was talking to a colleague this morning. Uh, the asylum office made it a rule where uh, for now, uh, you can't bring your own translator. You have to use their translators in their system. And I was talking to a colleague this morning who uh, is an Arabic speaker. He's uh, from an Arabic country and he's going to be on the show next week actually to talk about it. And what happened is a lot of people now uh, who are Arabic speakers of asylum cases are calling him because he flies out to anywhere that they ask um, to be the place or to watch out over the translators. And he's gone through so many. What he saw is some offices, he said in California, they've been good, but in some other states, the translators uh, are incorrectly translating to a point where it really is affecting the case. And he's there to catch it because he speaks that language, especially Arabic, because they have so many different dialects depending on the country. And in right. one case, uh, the, the applicant was kept saying, you're translating wrong, you're translating wrong. And the translator was not translating to the officer that the applicant was saying the translator is translating wrong. But he was there and says, listen, I'm an Arabic speaker. This person is wrong. They changed three people, three translators within that interview uh, until really? they got that work. And it was one company that uh, provided these translators. And so on a case like asylum, the, the, the effects of this no translator rule is so drastic. That's why I, I told him, let's come on next week after the holidays when he come to talk about this because practitioners need to know about this and, and people got to know, you know, for asylum, maybe if your English isn't good and you need a translator, bring a lawyer to the interview with you that could, you know, watch out for the translator, watch over the watcher if you want, because you don't yeah. know what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've had a number of those cases over the years where, uh, you know, where we brought people that are, are native born people from a particular country. Yeah. And then the, the, the government puts a translator on the phone. And sometimes those translators make mistakes that could alter whether you're going to get asylum or not get asylum. It's, uh, it's really a due process issue in my estimation. Yeah. And I mean, there's a chance there's gonna be some lawsuits about this if for, for the people that didn't get approved. If all these class actions that are happening right now, this is ripe. Uh, if, the tra if they're consistently finding uh, like certain states are using companies that have bad translators, uh, that's something that could reopen a bunch of cases too. So it's just, immigration is just nonstop. Good stuff, bad stuff, but just wild. It's the wild, wild west <laughs> law, it seems like. <laughs> it's like cowboys here. But you, 